Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Castlevania II, Simon's Quest, the prologue. Step into the shadows of the Hell House. You've arrived back at Castlevania on business to blah blah blah, Dracula's curse. Curse! Yes, destroy forever the curse of the evil Count Dracula. Not Count Dracula, Count Dracula. You are Simon Belmont from the first game, and you want to kill stuff. Let's go! Ooh, scary. Lots of people have said this game is terrible. I'm going to prove you all wrong by playing it from start to finish. There might be a modicum of save stating. Definitely not now. Let's go! And of course, since this is Castlevania, we'll start in the castle and... Okay, we're in a town. I have played this game a little. Let's talk to this guy. First thing to do in this town is buy a white crystal. Okay. What do you sell? Nothing, apparently. So this is town. And it's a nice place indeed. Water will kill you instantly. Do not go into the water. Hello. Weird grape. How do I... Ah, press up goes up the ladder. Hello. Hit... Rest here for a while. Okay. Now, the first thing you want to do in this game is take the advice that the old man gave you and buy a white crystal. Hello. Buy a white crystal? Yes. It costs all our starting hearts, but we do need that white crystal to get to the first mansion. Now we get to the the bad part of the game, the grinding. It's time to grind, folks. I have access to grind, but unfortunately, Simon Belmont has only a whip. Let us go! And this is the best music of the game. We need hearts. We're only get hearts by whipping things. See, that's two hearts. We need 150 to start with. Yes, 150 hearts. Do, 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 stop jumping, stop jumping at me, please, and do, 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 So, yeah, we, we're just gonna whip some things. This part is pretty easy. Now, of course, this game's all just happy and jolly and bouncy, and we're trying to kill Count Dracula, so there'll be all sorts of undead abominations for us to slay. Uh, what a horrible night to have a curse. Ah, uh, yes. The night mechanics. Now monsters are twice as tough to kill. However, their hearts are worth twice as much. We're alright here. We, we, we're not going to die horribly. Uh, Maybe. We don't want to die. In fact, we might want to go back to town. Nah, I'm alright. I have 22 hearts already. Why do I need all these hearts? I need these hearts so that I... Oh! No! Bad touch! these hearts so I can buy more items, because you need to buy items in this game. Yes, Simon Belmont has been strapped for cash for a while. This game's not terrible, not so far anyway. I mean, all we're doing is killing Count Dracula. This isn't a really bad curse, is it? I mean... What would have happened if I were to go back to town? It'd just be shut for business, I take it. There'll just be all the stores closed, and I've just got to wait until daytime. Hey! No! Stop jumping! So many werewolves outside town. No wonder people stay in town. I mean, town's going to be fine. Uh, oh! I'm sorry, town has zombies in it! Goody. Just what I always wanted to see. Zombies. Zombie? In 
need zombies. Can I go into the church? No, I cannot go into anything while it is night. That is not desirable. However, we will endure, and we will just keep whipping things. Add your S&M jokes here, because I'm not going to. There are also bats here. Bats are the scourge of all adventurers. We'll just keep whipping things until it's morning. Maybe we'll have enough money to buy things we want, like holy water and thorn whips. Because you would think a thorn whip would be a bit dangerous for you to use, but no, Simon Belmont has no problems using a whip made entirely of thorns. We have 82 hearts already. This is turning out to be quite profitable. This little space here. There are multiple towns in this game, multiple sets of items for you to buy. Some items are consumable, other items aren't. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. Hurrah, it is now day. The zombie just runs away, and it becomes daytime again. We can go in here, and we can heal from the Mr. Grey Man. Rest here for a while. Thank you. I will walk off this. And save. Because the best way to get to the end of town... Okay, we can't jump off there to the edge of town. Do 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 do. Hooray! Werewolves! Skeletons! And they aren't half as tough. The bad news is, they're not half as tough. You'll notice that it didn't take very long. Within one video, it's already become night. That mechanic is going to be around a lot. So, the basic pl way we're going to get rid of Dracula is we're going to find bits of him. And we're going to reform Dracula so we can kill him again. And Belmont, what is to say that he won't just curse you again? Once he kills, would you kill him a second time? I mean, Lord knows how long your ancestors keep killing Dracula. Surely, in Wolfenstein, they wouldn't have bothered to summon demons, they'd have just gone to Dracula. Dracula, you seem to be completely invincible. This is the worst German accent ever. See, they could just summon Dracula, get some zombies, get some skeletons, and... And, and kill people! But no, no, it has to be demons. Anyway, completely diverting from Castlevania here. A very iconic series is Castlevania. Well, I would say iconic, it's kind of become a bit, a bit samey after uh, Symphony of the Night, when they all had to be in castles, and they all had to be just in castles. Okay, that's really the only complaint I have with Castlevania games of late. 2D is nice, I like the fact that they're still in 2D. I like the fact that every single 3D Castlevania that's ever been made is really a laughing stock. I speak from experience. They are a laughing stock. So basically the whole first video has been grinding. I uh, yep. no. Better get to town before it becomes night. I better get to town before I need to cut the video off. Quick, get to town, Simon! Before it becomes night and humans become zombies. I, I know it's meant to be the, the curse acting up, but seriously, zombies. Oh no! We're completely defenseless unless we go into our houses. Whereupon we're completely safe, and none of us will die. Literally, none of us will die. Rest here for a while, and that will be a good time to stop. So, until next time, folks, this was Let's Play Simon's Quest. Cast of Doom! Okay, I'll stop doing that now. Until then, folks, until then.